Hello Pisces, this is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance. How goes it Pisces? I hope you are well. Um, I've been sitting with a deck for a while, putting in your energies. Um, we will see what comes through in the reading. But Michael's been showing me um, a lot of maps, um, architects plans, um, paperwork to do with moving, basically. Okay, change. I think what we'll do is get straight into this and see what comes through. Okay, guys, um, I do hope you're well. Uh, we, we've been going through and still been going through um, quite a, a few difficulties um, globally, but, you know, we've um, stayed positive. I think it's been really nice to see that other people have helped other people, right? Um, and uh, we will get through this. We will get through this together. Okay, guys, so... Let's settle ourselves down and get our usual channel message from Archangel Michael. Here we go. Okay, you ready? Let's do this. Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. We'd like your guidance and advice, please, for Pisces. This is for June 2020. Thank you, Michael. Okay, Michael's taking me straight to straight to a small house and there's a guy busy back packing up a car he's he's definitely moving definitely moving he's actually he's looking pretty happy he's whistling he's got a big smile on his face he's glad to be moving he's happy there's a lot to do but he feels as if he's got everything organized everything sorted he's carrying boxes in and out of the house bags in and out of the house He's checking, yeah, he's checking a map. He's checking a map. He's all organised to move. Michael's saying he has everything in place to move. Okay. What is the problem, Michael? Okay, he's saying that there's a big problem. Okay. <laughs> okay, the guy's look. He's, he's starting the engine. He's starting the engine and he's realising, he's realising he hasn't got any petrol. He hasn't got any gas. Oh my goodness. Okay. So he's all ready for the move. He's all packed up. Everything's organised. Michael's telling me, he's showing me a big 12. Now, one and two is three, three has changed, but Michael's shaking his head. No, it's not about that. This could be 12 months in the making. Michael's saying yes. So this guy has been organising this transition. Michael is telling me transition for 12 months. Okay, he's, he's, he's going shh, you know, like, like it's quiet, it's secret. So this is a secretive plan that has been going on for 12 months and this has taken a lot of organisation. Michael's nodding at me, organisation. But now there is the realisation that he's forgotten something really important, which of course is the fact that everything's organised, but he cannot actually drive the car. No gas. Okay. Michael's saying no, no transportation, no way of... No way of moving. Okay. Vision is fading. Thank you, Michael. Um, a little bit cryptic. Um, this could be you, Pisces, suddenly realising that you've got everything planned, everything sorted, you felt you were bang on track, and then you've forgotten something really major. Almost as if you've been looking at the details and you hadn't looked at the, at the basic facts which is, have I got the keys to my new apartment, for instance, my new house? Have I filled the car with petrol? Do I know exactly where I'm going? Right? You know what it's like when you're moving, you, you tend to look at the, the details, packing everything up so that everything fits into as small a space as possible, making sure that, you know, um, the place is cleaned when you leave it. All, all that type of thing. Someone here has been spending a lot of time organising a transition. Michael keeps telling me transition rather than move. A transition. But has missed a very big factor. A very big factor. 
And this is something now that's causing extra delay. Michael's saying for now, he's very calm, for now. A delay for now, okay. Okay, wow. Pisces, let's get into this guys, see where this takes us, okay? Thank you for be bearing with me for the visual. A lot of you like to, to get that channeled message from Archangel Michael, others like to skip, whatever you wanna do, okay? Oh, I'm feeling uh, very, very nervous. Very, very nervous. Yeah. Okay. Someone here is needing to communicate, wanting to communicate about a very big change in their life. There's been a lot of watching, waiting, secretive planning, okay? Michael, is this something to worry about? No, okay, okay, I just wanted to ask, okay. All right, so, wow. Whew. I'm feeling a lot of pent up excitement. I'm feeling a lot of nervous energy. Um, I'm actually he hearing, praying this is going to work, praying that this is going to work. Now, this may not actually be somebody praying per se, okay? Um, but this is someone who is hoping that a situation, ooh, a plan is going to work out. Yeah, somebody has definitely been strategizing getting over obstacles, okay? We have the King of Wands, Fire Sign Man under the deck. This is someone who is taking action, going to take action, Pisces. I'm feeling that this has been a long-awaited plan that's coming into fruition, yeah. Four of Swords, somebody who could have been healing from heartbreak, stressed, heartbroken, didn't know what to do, tired and weary of a situation. They are now, or this man is now, taking action. Now, Pisces, you could be taking action against this King of Wands or towards this King of Wands, I, could, I should say. Oh, OK. Michael's saying no. Action against. Someone's taking action against someone who lied. There was a big cover up. That's what I'm hearing. There was a very big cover up. Yeah, Michael's showing me somebody putting a cover over a car. There was a there was a cover up. Somebody didn't want their movement, their transition, because a car is movement, right? To be seen. Thank you, Michael. Wow. All right, guys, let's get straight in. Uh, let's just check the camera. Is it looking all right? Yeah, I'm going to move it a fraction, guys. Okay, there we go. Pisces. We start with the Knight of Swords. There could be communication coming in from an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? Not necessarily. This is just forward movement. Now, Pisces, you could be wanting to communicate with someone in your environment, but this is fast action. This is clarity. This is speaking the truth. This is, I have something important to say to you. I want to tell it to you now. That sort of energy, quite... Right, let's go, 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 go. And I'm feeling that whatever this is, is based on the fact that someone in the mix was very confused emotionally. So this is somebody who is coming in to give you clarity on something you were confused about, Pisces, or the other way around. You knew that you had kept something under wraps, secret, a change that you were hoping to make, a plan that you had put into place. And maybe you wanted to reach out to someone and clear up any confusion. Okay. This is someone who has been also potentially Pisces looking at other options. And maybe they have got the clarity now of which option is going to make them happy. 
And this is something that maybe they want to relay to you. Now, it could suggest that this is someone who dated a few people, if this is love, and realized that you were the option that they really wanted. And so they're coming in now to say, I've made up my mind. What do you think? I am transitioning into a new phase of life. Michael's telling me leaving. Someone is leaving a situation to move forward towards you. And there is definite communication coming in. Okay, Pisces? In the past, there was a situation where someone didn't tell the truth. Somebody didn't detach from someone else. Or there was confusion as to feelings. How do I really feel about this person? Do I want to make a big change to detach from one person to move forward in a clean cycle with another. That decision was never made. Um, Michael showing me a big brick wall. There could have been a serious block. Somebody could literally not have been able to leave some kind of situation, a person. Michael saying the block, the block was felt to be immovable. Now, this could have been you know, a child in the mix, I really cannot leave a situation, I've, it's going to affect my children, that sort of energy. It could be that this person lived on the other side of the world, okay? There could have been a big distance issue here. Or there could have been a religious or cultural factor. I'm only saying that, Michael showed me the Bible, okay? So there could have been a difference in religion. No, I cannot detached from someone because our religion disapproves of divorce, that sort of energy. Whatever this block was, your person or you, Pisces, felt that was immovable. And there was a very big disappointment with the Four of Wands in reverse after that energy. I just cannot bring this situation that I'm wanting to build on. I'm wanting new relationship. I'm wanting to talk to someone about moving forward. This is my honeymoon card. There was a sense of huge disappointment. I just cannot do this. Now, for some people, for some of you, you or the other person had to wait until a property was sold. And maybe, given the issues that we've all been facing over the last few months, okay, it was just impossible. Housing market might have just been dire. Nobody was, was buying or selling anything. So that might have been a major problem. Huge delay in the mix. Now, in your thoughts, Pisces, with the Page of Swords, there is a feeling of, is this person telling me the truth? If there is communication coming in, there's a very wary energy. Are you actually telling me the truth with whatever the truth comes out? Is this person lying to me? Because there could have been a big lie in the past, okay? about moving forward and it didn't happen and there was intense disappointment. Michael's actually telling me on both sides, on both sides. But with a page of swords in reverse, someone could have been quietly watching you. You could have been watching someone else from the sidelines, social media. Whatever this was, there's a sense that someone could never completely emotionally detach from you or vice versa. Communication is coming in about a big change. I have managed to remove blocks. So, Michael, please may we have your guidance of the energy coming into the immediate future. What is your guidance on that card, please, Michael? Timing, please, Michael, thank you. Not getting anything through, Michael. 18th. The 18th? 18th. He's not telling me which month, but anyway, 18th is coming through. 18th is coming through. Okay, so we have the lovers. Um, This could be a Gemini who is coming in. Okay, we have 
their energy here. If not, you are sat in the energy Pisces of this beautiful card. This is a deep soulmate connection. This is not only chemistry, but this is a deep spiritual energy coming through and a strong emotion. This could be past life. This is how you're feeling when communication comes in. Now, in the other person's energy, Pisces, is the Knight of Wands in reverse. But if you remember, as I laid out the cards, I said to Michael, is this what I think it is? And he said, no. Don't know whether you remember that. What I meant was, and he can read my mind, he knows, he knows what I meant by that. Is this a player energy? Is this someone who is not going to commit? Is this someone who is basically not having good intentions in moving forward towards my Pisces, right? Michael said, no which means this person does have good intentions. I think what this is, is someone coming to talk to you to try and get clear about how you feel about them, Pisces, so that they can make a decision to either get on with their life and move forward or to move forward with you. This is someone feeling stuck and raring to go. This could be a younger fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Gemini here. Could be one of the same person. This could be a fire sign with Gemini in their chart. You know how it goes, okay? So this is you sending this lovely energy of, wow, this is what I wanted. This person is coming in to communicate with me. And this is potentially something that I wanted. But thoughts in your mind, is this person really telling me the truth? How do I really feel about this person? Do they really want to move forward with me? Or are they kind of sat in a bit of ego, just wanting to know how I feel about them? Okay. I do feel that with this Knight of Wands, this is someone who wants to move forward with you, Pisces, but was very confused as to how you felt. For some of you, you might have blocked this person. You might not have seen this person for maybe two years. 12 months, right? But this person wants to know how you're feeling. So I think they can make a firm decision as to how to move forward in their life. In your fears, is your card of Pisces fearing coming out of maybe waiting, hoping, feeling a bit stuck in your emotions? Is this person ever going to come back? You're actually fearing them coming back to you, fearing clarity. Because you may not feel that this person has good intentions. This is also the card of awakening, fearing this person has suddenly come to the realization, maybe through an awakening, that this is a very powerful connection. And this might worry you, Pisces, because maybe this person did lie to you in the past. Maybe this person was sat in their shadow side. Maybe they were holding player energy, right? And you're worried. Is this really, could this really be true? Have they really woken up to the, the depth of this connection now? Do they really understand what this is? Because I think you do, Pisces. I think you do. In your hopes... Nine of Swords in reverse, hoping to come out of confusion, hoping for clarity. Hoping maybe just for communication, hoping this person's going to come in and say, OK, this is a situation. This is what happened. This is why I couldn't tell you everything. This is what I want to do. This is my plan. What do you think? How do you feel? You're just needing clarity because I think for many of you, you've just been sat in confusion for so long. Feeling this pull towards the other person energetically, telepathically and unable to release yourself from that energy. And this is going to provide you with clarity. OK, hoping to come out of sleepless nights and insomnia, wondering, did this person feel the same? Was it just me? Was I was I just reading this all wrong, this connection that we had? Because this is powerful. For some of you, this is twin flame energy. We have 1111, the lovers. Someone going through the dark night of the soul, which I'm absolutely certain that's what this is. Okay, Michael's saying, yes, that's what that was. Wow. 
And of course, we have judgment, Summing, somebody coming back in, making the decision to reach back out. The divine saying it wasn't the time before. Now, I'm actually hearing shadow side. Somebody was sat in their shadow side and they had to spiritually evolve to move on to your level, Pisces, in order to be, and I'm going to say it, worthy enough, worthy enough, spiritually, having learned their lessons, having maybe faced some karma to come through to you, to come back to you and express their truth. Somebody's making a very serious judgment call and Pisces, this is you. Do I trust this person? Am I ready to move forward with them? Am I ready to make this big move? This could be literally moving in with someone. This could be moving into a place of not seeing each other for many, many months and then deciding to date. Okay, let's take it slow. But I am feeling that your person is stuck and they are needing clarity Pisces from you as to your feelings because you may have completely shut this person out because of what happened in the past and now they're coming in and basically saying look I'm ready to make these changes I'm ready to make the decision to move the last blocks out of my life that has prevented us coming together but I need to know before I face all that before I do all that are you on board do you feel the same about me Clarity that you are actually still on the same page. You want the same thing before maybe making those final changes to be with you. Clarification. We have somebody facing karma. Okay. Seven of Swords. I am feeling strategy here, but I'm also feeling negative energy. Michael's showing me a dark shadow coming over this card. So yes, this is someone who didn't tell the truth in the past, who hadn't cut someone else out, who wanted things their way, who was very happy maybe to sit in a situation pertaining to three people. Okay, well, I've got what I want. I don't need to make changes. Things are just, can just carry on as they are. You may have come to the realization, Pisces, that things would never change and you detached. This person then I'm feeling faced a big tower moment. It was this person, not you, Pisces. Big tower moment. Now, their other half might have found out that they were lying and cheating. And they may have called separation, right? Their world may have crumbled. Unbeknown to you, this person could have been kicked out of the house. This person could have lost a lot of money. Whatever the situation, they faced a lot of karma because of the way they behaved in the past. They may not have told you that. This might be communication coming in. I'm going to be honest with you, Pisces. When I left you, this happened, right? My whole world crumbled and I realized that actually I'd hurt people. Spiritual awakening. The tower can be spiritual awakening. Facing the aftermath of a shock, which is being found out and facing bad karma. This is someone going through the aftermath, picking themselves up after something happening in their lives which shook their world. And I'm really feeling the dark night of the soul. Somebody understood that what they were doing was not right. There could have been a Scorpio in the mix. Sometimes for me, the tower is Scorpio energy. Somebody sneaking out on a Scorpio. We also have Earth Energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So I'm feeling this person is coming in to express that, yes, they lied to you in the past. Yes, they're really sorry, but they had put a plan in action to get out of a situation, even though it was difficult. They want to know how you feel, Pisces. Are you with me on this? Because there is no point in me really trying to make this work with you if you are not on the same page as me. Is it worth the effort for me? to do this, to go through these final changes, right, to actually move forward, right, to put gas in the car, having packed everything up, I'm all ready, are you with me? I have a feeling, Pisces, with the Queen of Swords, I think this, for many of you, is going to be you, for you guys, this could be the woman that you're dealing with, okay, 
For many of you, you're going to be very, very nervous to let this person back into your life. Yes, you feel the connection. Yes, you want to move forward. You would love to believe them, but you are this time very much keeping your distance. Well, let's see how things go. I'm not quite sure we can give it a go. I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket. I'm not going to be making any rash decisions, right, with you until I've really got to know you. This is your energy because this is a woman who before she turned into the Queen of Swords was very warm, very loving, maybe a little bit too naive. Yes, a little bit too trusting. And I think whatever happened in the past was heartbreaking. And this is now defences are up. If you don't tell me the truth this time, I am out of here. I'm out of here. Are you telling me the truth? Because we have someone coming in, Pisces, and I think this is your person. Could be an earth sign, could be a fire sign, whoever this is. But there is someone coming in to say, okay, I've learned my lesson. I've gone through the bad karma. I'm now ready to offer you something stable. This is your reaction. Really? Really? Because there was a big lie before big lie. And I sat in a lot of upset, pain, heartbreak and confusion that this wasn't going to work out. There'll be a lot of questions from you, Pisces. There'll be a lot that you want to know. You may be coming across as a little bit unemotional, but I think this person is understanding why or will understand why. Give this person chance to speak their truth even if it's difficult, even if you just want to yell at them and slam the door, don't do it because, wow, the door's just slammed behind me, amazing. Um, because this is someone who really wants you to know that they have faced maybe a very difficult situation and they've also got up the courage to come forward to you to talk to you. This was not easy for this person, okay? So just give them the benefit of the doubt and just listen to what they have to say. You don't have to say anything, Pisces. You can just sit there and say, OK, very calmly, just tell me what's gone on or what's been happening. I just want to know from you how you feel about this. And let this person speak, OK? So Pisces, the divine is bringing back someone into your life that I think you were destined to move forward with. I think you have done a lot of thinking about this. I think your other person has probably faced some very difficult karma. Both of you now may be on the right level spiritually to move forward into a new cycle. This will be your decision. All right. Now let's close the reading with some extra information from the Kipper deck. So Archangel Michael, please can we have some extra information pertaining to the situation? Thank you. So somebody could have faced even the consequences of, of being banged up, okay, for whatever they did, or this is just feeling emotionally stuck, cannot get out of a situation. But there was a choice that this person could make, nine and two is 11, one and one is two, that's a decision. Somebody did not have to stay imprisoned, and I think they realised that it might have taken them a lot of energy, time, thinking, planning to get out of a situation, but I think that's what happened, okay? Yeah, distant horizons. So somebody could have felt trapped in another country, another city. This could even be as simple as, you know, I couldn't get a visa to travel. Um, travel plans are put on hold because of the pandemic, you know, that sort of energy. 
But also this is someone dropping anchor and heading off in a different direction. Leaving the past behind. There could have been a child in the mix or somebody. This can actually just represent somebody acting very childishly. Okay, very immature energy. A little bit of, I'm not going to contact you, you can contact me. Sitting in some ego and immature energy. Somebody might have had to grow up. Okay? Yeah. Hi, Honor. Yeah. I think this person now realised, Pisces, particularly if they've gone through some karma, that they needed to move forward towards you in the honourable way. Or they might have had to, had to end a situation following a rule book. Okay? I can't just sneak away from the situation. I have to actually take the situation in hand and make the changes and do it by the book. Lovers, yeah. So, Pisces, we've got the lovers twice. Strong Gemini energy, but this is just telling me that you knew this person maybe had a choice. Of course, energies can be switched, right? And I think this is you understanding that... If your person had to make a choice, Pisces, they have chosen you. And they did the honourable thing. They removed the blocks that needed to be removed. And very shortly, they should be coming in with communication. Because they want to make things right. Someone who was sat in their shadow side is now moving into the light. They understand what they did was wrong. And they are wanting to make amends and find out how you feel, Pisces. Okay? So I'm going to leave it there. If this is your story, do reach out, deborahclair.com. And I shall be back very, very soon with your TGIF weekly catch-up reading. See you then, guys. Bye now.